Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I just have a quick tutorial explaining how to generate haptic feedback. So haptic feedback is really important for your uh, app because it just gives your user another level of um, output. Like they'll get to feel a bit more into the app and a lot more interested. And it also just makes the app feel quite premium. So uh, let me just call this haptic feedback demo and I'll just save this in my YouTube folder. So you won't be actually be able to feel the haptic feedback obviously if you're just running it on the simulator but if you run it on uh, your actual iPhone then you'll be able to feel the haptic feedback. So there's quite a lot of different haptic feedbacks and I'll get into them but what we're gonna do is create a button in our storyboard and this button will just be called click me and we'll just call this click me oh. and we'll just make the font a bit bigger and I won't actually be able to demonstrate how it feels or you're gonna have to try this out for yourself and then run it on your own phone because you won't be able to feel it but I'll just show you how to implement it so let me close all of this and in this click button the way you generate haptic feedback is you create a generator and this is just going to be called UI notification haptic feedback generator and we can just leave that there and then we want to generate a .notification occurred. Then we can choose what feedback type we want. And we want it to be, um, these are four feedbacks. So we have error, success, or warning. And we can call this success. And then there's another type of generator called let generator2. And this is just called UI impact feedback generator. Impact, impact feedback generator and this has different types of uh, feedbacks as well so impact occurred and in for this one we're meant to set our style over here so what we can do is we have five different options here so altogether we have eight options and the soft one is quite it's not really a very um, it's not very crisp, it's more like quite prolonged. The rest of them are quite crisp and fit and fast. So I'll just go for the medium one. And yeah, so if I run this, I won't really be able to do anything because I'm not going to feel any um, haptic feedback or anything. But we can just click on it and you should be able to feel it if you're running it on your own device. So yeah, nothing's happening. But that's how you add haptic feedback into your app. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a future tutorial. Bye!